Johnny Murphy in his first uh, All Ireland final, having a very good opening 35 minutes. So now let's see who's uh, going to uh, win this second half and win the Liam McCarthy and that elusive title of All Ireland champions. Cork and Clare giving it absolutely everything, giving it socks. And it's Cork on the attack immediately. Nice stick work by Brian Hayes, and that is over the bar. And as they did in the first half, Cork start off the journey of the second half impressively. Yeah, that was a great touch there from Hayes out of the air. Brilliant score, but Clare a little bit casual there. Tony Kelly really should have got it up. Mark Rogers and led to the score. Great ball down the wing and super fine. Just looking inside, Shane O'Donnell has gone inside with Peter Duggan. Two man full forward line, nobody within 50 yards of him. Here's a long ball down to O'Donnell. Target is indeed Shane O'Donnell. And he has it. Gets by challenge one. Challenge two coming now. Peter Duggan wasn't expecting it. Duggan gets inside and puts that over the bar. Sides level again. Three times level in the first half. Once in the second so far. Yeah, and that's why Donald is so dangerous. So that ball was won there by Cork, but and it broke. He's unbelievable to get that. I think Don Logue referred to it before the game. That second ball into his hand. He's just incredible balance and uh, picks it up and throws it on to Peter Kelly. This is the ball that was dropping down. All the time, Shane O'Donnell has designed the ball. You can see Carl Malone there. He's gone with the blood, so it'll, it'll be probably Ryan Taylor. But look, look at the way O'Donnell kept his feet and turned back again. He's unbelievable balance. Colliding with one of his own, Carl Malone. This is club hurling with Six Mile Bridge, secondary school teacher in Liston Varna. And Claire going to uh, bring in Dara Lohan. Brian Lohan's nephew, who's very good uh, championship in the early stages. And we were scoring a goal against uh, Waterford in Cusick Park. It was uh, quite outstanding as Cork go back into the attack again. Long ball down towards Adam Hogan. Struggling on his knees, battling with Alec Connolly. And somehow the fecal man gets a hurley to it. Patrick Horgan goes back outside to Seamus Harnady. Well within his range. Floats it high and floats it between the posts. Third yeah. point of the game for Seamus Harnady. What a battle between Hogan and Connolly there. Uh, great tackle. But again, Patrick Horgan shows his experience. That's the second time he's linked up with Harnady. That's Seamus' third point. And Hoggy had a hand in two of them. Just to confirm, Carl Malone is back, having received some medical attention for that knock in his nose. Good catch by Peter Duggan. Playing it back for David Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald looks to be confident enough that that's on its way, and it is. Second point of the game for David Fitzgerald. Yeah, what a catch by Duggan. We saw him the last day against Kilkenny in the second half, doing that on a number of occasions. Brilliant catch, simple layoff, simple hurling, lovely score. And now Patrick Collins faced with the dilemma. In the first half, those long puckouts didn't really work. They're trying to get it to Brian Hayes now, like they did the last day against Limerick. Plenty of court players waiting for the breaking ball. Picked up by Declan Dalton, but it swings to the right. Fifth wide of the game for Cork. And you saw Brian Hayes coming out from full forward there to try to get broke that ball down. That's their tactic against Limerick in the second half. Worked really well. Will it go as well today? Sharp puck out, this time used by Ever Quilligan, then the diagonal ball, but caught defensively are equal to it. Robert Downing, Tim O'Mahony, giving it plenty of air, plenty of oxygen. For a man who had only scored one point in the championship on the way to the uh, All Ireland final, he scored twice now. He did indeed, fantastic score. He's got two very good points. He's having a fierce battle with Tony Kelly. Tony is contributing, uh, hasn't scored, but is contributing in general play, but O'Mahony with two points on the board, Fitzgibbon with one as well. Nicely controlled, just about by Mark Rogers. There's acres of Croke Park pitch in front of him. Still Mark Rogers tries to get inside. This is Rogers. Oh, my word! We had an absolute fabulous goal in the first half. Now we have a second. 82,300 people come alive of wherever you are in the world. Look at Scarif's Mark Rogers. What a score. Ducking inside. He knew exactly what he was going to do. And he hits a past Patrick Collins. Unstoppable. Fantastic. That's a brilliant finish. Mark Coleman's going to be disappointed. He should have done better coming back. We saw it in the first half. Clare opened him up a few times. Down now with Alan Connolly. Second goal of the match for Clare. And Cork responds straight from the puck out. Alan Connolly with his first point of the game. Yeah, he's having a fantastic battle with Hogan. Lovely first touch, 
he needed a score, he settled himself, he poked it over. Back to the goal, we saw it in the first half, Clare went through a few times, didn't finish them. Uh, Rodgers really should have been met by Mark Holman, he waltzed past him, and, but a brilliant goal. Ball goes all the way for Shane O'Donnell. Somehow he has it, I think, or trying to hold on to it, trying to scoop it up, he has it now. He is such a powerful player, this time it's blocked down. Clare have it once more, recycled for as David Fitzgerald, under pressure. Is that just inside the post or outside it? I think we're going to go to Hawkeye for the second time. Yeah, Shane O'Donnell very adamant that it was over. Is it a thaw or is it a kneel? Inside or outside the post? Just a little bit outside, it's a kneel. Scoreline remains the same, Clare 214, Cork 116. And look who's in the crowd, the man who guided Clare to All Ireland success in 95 and 97. They call him God in the county of Clare. Ball comes down towards David McInerney. Trying to scoop it out towards John Conlon. Conlon has it. Inspirational, spiritual leader of this clear side. Flicked on towards Tony Kelly. Kelly laying it off over towards Jim Ryan. Jim Ryan just curling this ball to the right and wide. It deserved better, and I think Tony Kelly will probably be saying, I should have kind of kept going myself. You know, I noticed that, Marty, a little bit with Tony. He's been out injured, the confidence a little bit, maybe. Normally, that would be Tony Kelly over the bar, on the run. Dermot Ryan scored two in the first half. That's a little Achilles tendon of his, too, hitting that. He didn't deliberately hit it wide. Tony normally would pop it up. Short fuck out fast, Kieran Joyce. Sending it down the middle of Brian Hayes, his wrist work. A big man is just superb. He gets it out far as the centre half forward Shane Barrett, but just this time goes to the right of the post and wide. Quick fuck out by Ever Quilligan, but no quick fuck out allowed. This is one of the talking points before the game. Johnny Murphy, I think, I'm not too sure what he's indicating, but he's stopped his watch anyway. I think it's a blood soap. Blood, oh, there Brian it is. Hayes. Yes, Brian Hayes is the player that has to uh, get some medical attention along the sideline. Shane Barrett will be disappointed. He scored two in the first half. Then Conlon really thundered into the game. And that's one he should have tapped over, really. Mark Rogers with his third goal of the championship. Scored against Cork. Goal against Waterford. His second goal against Cork now. But this one is real classic in the All-Ireland final. And down in Cusick Park, or down, down in the fair green in Ennis, they jump with joy. Ball comes down towards David Reedy. Peter Duggan says, leave it to him. Ball still in play, Carl Malone, Duggan. Linesman has his flag up. That's Michael Kennedy from Tipperary. Peter Duggan is totally adamant that uh, that thing go out over the sideline. It won't be coming down anyway, so... I, I actually don't think... I don't think, it, I don't think the ball went out, did it? No? No, it didn't, no. Oh. Brilliant piece of skill, actually, by Duggan flicked it back in between his legs. So Peter Duggan is correct. Ball comes in. Conor Cleary leaving it towards Conor Lean, but Patrick Horgan, at 36 years of age, went from third to fifth gear. Linesman indicates there's going to be a clear ball. So Michael Kennedy will be forgotten for the ball for Peter Duggan within a minute. He's not giving this ball to Clare. 50-50 or 60-50. Just Conor Cleary there was interesting. He didn't even go for the ball. He was so concerned about Shane Kingston. It's amazing when you're out there, you're going to keep your own man, and that's it. Conor Cleary cutting it in towards Mark Rogers. Gets it down for us, John Conlon. Aiming for Shane O'Donnell. Great cornerback play by O'Donoghue. O'Donnell is hurt. He's up again, but uh, he certainly is holding his shoulder. Ball into the space. Dribbling towards the sideline, but uh, Adam Hogan is there. And this time, Adam Hogan had crossed the wide line. Slither hand, ball in hand, sideline ball, sideline cut, going to court. Just seemed to fall awkwardly, Shane O'Donnell. There'd be deep concern in the Clare dugout if anything was to happen to him now. Let's just see what happened here. Just overstretched there. Yeah. He's okay. Meanwhile, 
Cork are on the attack. Accuracy just letting them down at the moment. Yeah, the first time of the game, Marty, we've a little bit of a lull. You're very hard to keep it up. What we've seen, a brilliant goal by Rogers start the second half. Just see a couple of wides there now. So now it's deep breath and go for home, whoever it's going to be. Seventh wide of the match for Cork. Ever Krillinger goes long to us, Peter Duggan. His physical presence so important. Looks around, looks in the rearview mirrors, hand passes it across over towards David Fitzgerald. Capable of scoring goals even from here. He's going for it. Since a while, he really should have tapped that over the bar. An option taken there. Crazy decision by David Fitzgerald. I know he can get a rush of blood out there. He should have tapped it over, played it out to Mark Rogers, who was loose outside. Breaking ball again. Picked up by John Connell. What a ball. Nice ball inside to his table with his chair, but it carries a little bit too much pace. Robert Downey. Cork sending it down the way. Well won by Seamus Harnett. Beautiful skill to Tim O'Man. Going for a hat trick of scores. A new time Chandra man is having a fabulous match. Made his debut against Clare back in 2018 great memories but today he also will have a great memory three points all of them supply yeah, and a brilliant first touch by Seamus Hardy out to Tim O'Malley I love the game he's having here today I mentioned before the game there might be somebody stepping up he's disciplined he's quiet in his approach sometimes he gets mixed up and stuff off the ball but he's having an outstanding game and Tony Kelly has to score he scored three the level in Croke Park for the sixth time with 46 and a half minutes played Dropping ball. Easily gathered. Tim O'Mahony again. Looking around to see who's available. And for Patrick Horgan. Struggling to get that ball up. Good defending by Clare. Three Clare defenders. One of them is Conor Lean. Getting it into the centre. Beautifully dispossessed by Clare and Joyce. Clare look exposed here. Dalton. Heading towards goal. Harnady on the overlap. He's going for it. It's half blocked and it's gone wide. They're saying it's a 65. He should have passed it into Connolly. I credited him a minute ago with a great pass. Look at Johnny is. Murphy. It's definitely a 65. It came it off after Hogan's heart. It should have been a 65. Clearly seen the replay. But Seamus Hardy really should have thrown it into Alan Connolly. He was loose inside. Change happening in the uh, Cork side. As uh, Ethan Cork Toomey is in. Introducing Ethan Toomey from St. Finbars. And the player that's going off is uh, Declan Dalton. By his own high standards, he's been relatively quiet. Meanwhile, Claire with David Brady. Puts step over the bar for his second point of the game. He has been outstanding all season. Yeah, one of the unsung heroes of this team, Marty, you know how good he is, I know how good he is, but not, I don't think everybody does. He can, he's made a huge difference in this game. He's out the field, he's buzzing everywhere, and that's his second point from play. One of those players that didn't play minor for the county, he's been playing senior for 10 years old, John Conlon, great block down. Paul Malone sending into the space, but there's nobody over there because Aidan McCarthy and Shane O'Donnell had moved over towards the Hogan stand side. Easy ball for Cork to gather. Send it long, going towards Shane Barrett. Little flick of the hurley was enough for David McInerney. Coming out with it. Round midfield, flicking it forward towards Aidan McCarthy now. Looking at the goalpost, down at the Davin end. From way out the field. This is some score. He gets, comes back off the post. Second time the ball has come off the post in this All-Ireland final. Alert play by Patrick Collins and a great ball to Ethan Dillman. Gets away from Peter Duggan, the initial challenge. Rolls it along the ground towards Shane. Uh, Seamus Harnady. Harnady. There's a bit of a tussle going on off the ball. Johnny Murphy has spotted it. Meanwhile, the play continues on. And there's another challenge that is illegal. And Ethan Toomey. But Alan Connolly and David McInerney were having their own battle. And they're still at it as well. 